Okay, so this recording is going to be about doing sketched orthographic drawing. Now, orthographic drawing, if you remember from any previous videos, is where you do a, a series of different views of your product, which are the same object but aligned with each other to give the design details, probably for manufacturing. Now, that's the purpose of what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how we go about setting up a an orthographic drawing by sketching and one of the first things you're going to need to decide is that how many views you're going to show. Now I tend to show three or three views. I would normally show a front view, a plan view and a side elevation. It's not uncommon though to show uh, four or even five views depending on the information in your product. Uh, for design and technology you're communicating your design concept but in many cases you might need to put some key information that allows it to be made by somebody else and um, sometimes having a conversation whilst you're sketching is a really good way of doing that so this is quite a loose version of an orthographic drawing your final orthographic drawing you would expect to do using set squares rulers uh, and being really really precise probably working to scale so this is more about the layout and communicating information uh, I'm going to draw in pen today. I might have drawn in pencil, but I'm going to just draw in pen. And uh, that's probably something that you need to make sure that you're allowed to do. Pencil is usually a school requirement. Um, I quite like drawing in a biro, so we will see how it goes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my, my view selection. Okay, now I'm not going to draw the underside of this today. It's quite complicated, so I'm not going to draw the underside of that. If you were manufacturing it, you would probably want to. We're going to do an orthographic drawing in third angle, which means that our views rotate. So as we move it along, it rotates upward. So I always talk about that like a half pipe on a, on a skate ramp or something, so it goes up at 90 degrees. And this way it rotates 90 degrees as well. So looking at my arrangement of views where I get the most information I'm going to show my side elevation uh, I'm sorry I'm going to show my front face as this one I'm going to then make that my side elevation and I'm going to then make that one my plan view now what's really important and what people often get wrong with this is that you forget to make sure that your views line up so you've got to make sure that your front elevation and your plan view are in alignment so what I would quite often start with would be a construction line and that's going to be my horizontal line and then I might do a vertical line running upwards which is going to be where my plan view will go okay um, now again I'm okay at drawing straight lines although those aren't my best if you're really bad at drawing straight lines you can do this with a ruler I'm just showing you how to do it and I want it to be reasonably quick so front elevation is going to be, I'm not going to draw around my object, so I'm actually going to do this by uh, sort of proportionally and look at my object not to scale in this case, okay, so I'm looking for the information because this is about um, still about sketching and developing your design idea, okay, so what I've got here is I've got two ends and a central curve bit, now if I look on top I can also see in the middle that I've got a small screw head there. Okay, so that's my first view. My plan view is going to sit above it. So what I'm now able to do, again, you could do this with a ruler. There's nothing wrong with doing this with a ruler apart from the amount of time it takes. But if you need to, I would suggest you do do it with a ruler. Okay, so that's me projecting up. Okay, I'm now going to show my plan view, the top view of this, and again I'm sketching it out so I'm going to just do this proportionally, I'm probably going to go a bit wider than that. Now again when we're talking to you about drawing and sketching and communicating you need to be in a position where you could do this quite confidently and not worry about getting it slightly wrong and you'd work into your drawing and it's quite a good way of understanding what you're trying to communicate. Okay, I'm looking for symmetry at this point. I'm looking at where this curve is and matching up with that curve there. Now when you're drawing your own shape, you probably don't have um, something to hand. You might have a model to work from, but 
it's much easier to practice this with something to hand but the idea of this is that you're actually doing your own design sketches as well okay so I'm looking at that proportionally it's okay now what I'm going to do is indicate where my blades going to come the the opening for that okay and once I've got my main drawing done I'm going to go over bits and just darken them in without going really heavily and again this is where you might want to get your ruler and just sharpen things up a little bit okay and then if we look at that screw head there that was what we're showing from the side on this view so that needs to be shown here it needs to sit in the middle of the blade and the blade actually has I think you can probably see that on the camera a change of angle where it goes to the sharp bit so let's just draw that blade in before I go any further okay now again if it's a particularly important sharp object you might want to get your get your ruler on it afterwards okay that actually is too far out let's draw that again and then there's the blade okay and then I'm going to draw my screw head somewhere in the middle of that as a circle now again because this is a, a sketch illustration I'm not going to worry about measuring whether my cross is the right side for the Phillips head there I'm just going to draw that in to indicate it okay and then that goes all the way down there slightly rounded corners I can see from here I don't know whether you guys can see on that camera angle and what I should probably indicate just with a little sort of zigzaggy zaggy line there is that there's actually some lines here if I was doing this with CAD those lines would be absolutely precise and lined up up here so my object is lined up above the other view now if it's a sketch orthographic no one's going to criticize you if things are slightly off you know you're off by a millimeter or so don't don't give up on the drawing if your views over on the right hand side of the page then then you you should be redrawing it because it wouldn't be communicating information effectively okay it'd be like talking a language without using the right words you've got to do this correct in terms of the layout of your view so there's my front elevation that's my plan view moving up 90 degrees okay so now I'm going to do the same sort of movement over here and I'm going to move it so it sits like that I'm going to move it so I'm actually going to look at the hole in this end if I did it on this side which I could do I'd be looking at this rectangle uh, for speed I'm not going to draw the fourth view and I'm not going to draw the underside if it was a complete drawing it probably should be there if it was... so let's do now this view I'm looking at this width here I'm going to position that okay my hole is not central it's over a little bit okay and it's actually closer to the top than it is to the bottom so again I'm going to just draw that So, front elevation, plan view, front elevation, side elevation. Okay, that would be the rear, that would be the underside. Okay, so just my outside edges now, I'm going to just darken those in by going over them again. And again, this is where with your ruler, you could potentially really clean that up if you wanted to. well and then again thinking about communicating the information that we need this doesn't tell us how to make it and there's a couple of really key things that are missing hopefully you can see what's missing uh, I am going to just draw I'm going to sketch in underneath off to one side so I'm not messing with my view uh, I'm going to do my third angle orthographic drawing which indicates the orientation of my views so it's showing me how it rotates third angle orthographic and again I'm sketching this so it's not it's 
it's not accurate and then I'm going to do a center line now to be honest you probably wouldn't on a sketch produce an orthographic third angle symbol um, that's me just being a little bit overkill about information that's a horrible line isn't it okay now the key thing for me is what information do we need to give to the person who's making it about sizes okay now as a designer you want to know your overall sizes as a manufacturer you need to know every size and that's the challenge for you if you put too many dimensions on here you wouldn't understand it if you don't put enough someone couldn't make it so for you the very very minimum is to show your kind of your three your length your width and your thickness so what I'm doing here because this is a sketch orthographic is I'm showing that width here on this one I'm able to show the heights and I'm looking at this view here and I can show here in line with my limit lines here I can show the width of the object okay so that's actually my three main dimensions so now I can't just make these up although I'm sketching my drawing and it's not quite accurate I need to be precise with this so that is 25 millimeters so look at where I'm positioning my numbers above the line not on the line not in the line and it is 15 so I've positioned it again look I'm reading left to right and then my height is 11 that's interesting 11 mil okay so I actually know how high this one is because it's the same height as that it's the, it's the same object so it doesn't get taller just by rotating so over here what I might do is I might indicate where my circle center is and again if you were cadding this you'd certainly often be working with the middle of your circle and again if, what do I need to dimension I've already got the width I don't need to show that I've already got the height I don't need to show that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure um, from here from the left hand side that's an interesting dimension to the middle of the hole there okay and here on the left hand side I'm getting a bit close to the edge of my page here here's a dimension I'm going to do using a slightly different technique I'm going to dimension off to one side and the hole is which I'm measuring in millimeters I'm going to estimate the middle of that hole to be across at six from the left hand edge and I'm going to measure from the bottom the middle of that is probably yeah I think we're looking at six here so look at how I've got those two arrows there they indicate a gap that indicates a gap and then I'm going to just show a diameter there's my diameter symbol and the diameter of that hole is 7.5 okay 7.5 now I haven't shown where this groove comes so I'm going to indicate that here because I think that's quite important okay and so the width of that groove is or the indentation 13 millimeters okay and I could indicate six
at that point. Okay. Now, I could continue a measure there, but what I should have, if I've got 25 mil overall and I've got six there and I've got 13 there, I don't need to indicate that last bit. So if you don't need to put a dimension on, don't do it unless it makes you drawing clearer. Okay, now the last bit that I am gonna do is I'm gonna indicate the rectangle spacing here. Okay, so we've got the width of it. I'm not gonna show the blade I'm, because of seven because of the drawing I'm doing I'm not going to indicate the dimensions on the blade uh, if it's your product you you show whatever information you want I'm trying to do this reasonably quickly um, and I would need to know where that rectangle comes it's actually not centered so I'm going to measure it off the bottom one two mil and you can see off on this side it's a different dimension so I'm going to go two And then on the right hand side, it's four. Okay, so again, I'm gonna just show a couple of little dimension lines to indicate key dimensions. Right, this is by no means a perfect orthographic drawing. Um, don't color it in. This is about communicating measurement. This really is about someone else being able to make it. So you think, okay, what do I need to show them? You might indicate on here that you've got a um, a radius of one. Um, oh, let's give it one point five. Okay, so that would that would give you a three D drawing. Now, depending on what you're making and, and what your GCSE project is or what your Key Stage three project is, you might give more or less information, or you might do four or five different drawings you know you have one which is your assembly drawing your general arrangement drawing but you might have component drawings and component views and again think about your objects think about the front elevation the side elevation the front elevation the plan view okay so um i would suggest if you're not very good at drawing by hand maybe sketch your basic views lightly with pencil then go over them again nice and sharp with a with a ruler I wanted to keep those construction lines and keep that quite loose, okay? Crack on. I'm going to do another one over here. I'm going to go quite quickly. I'll speed it up and um, put that into the video as well. So for me, this is you doing your own object, or if I've set you it as an exercise, maybe drawing a pencil sharpener, but this is about laying out the views. That's the key bit, okay? Okay, so um, just finished my second drawing and what you might have noticed, I was doing it quite speeded up, but what you might have noticed is the actual depth here, it comes to 28, but that was way too narrow. Now, if this was a proper technical drawing, that this drawing would be no good. It would have to be, to scale, it would have to be correct. But because this is a sketch drawing and we're maybe communicating ideas and working things out, maybe I'm okay with that error. Um, I certainly wouldn't be presenting that as my final concept because it is obviously proportionally way too skinny. So some of these dimensions are not really totally accurate sketch drawing to object, 
But the most important thing is that you communicate the size of the object so that somebody else, a third party they often talk about, would be able to make your product. Okay? It's really important. Front elevation, side elevation. Front elevation, plan view. Front elevation, side elevation. Front elevation and, and underside. Those five potential views are key. All right, so um, good luck with that. I hope you enjoy doing, a, doing some sketch orthographic. Remember, if your lines are wobbly, spend some time afterwards with your ruler straightening them up because it needs to look crisp, it needs to be clear. I've got some extra lines here. If I wasn't drawing in pen, I'd be rubbing out. Um, but I wanted you to have a kind of a, you can draw anywhere with anything, to be honest. So um, good luck with that. And make sure you get that submitted to your teacher. Cheers.